Hey guys, Susie here. I hope you guys are doing well today. I'm not on camera today because one, I wanted to do this video review for you guys and two, I am really, really feeling under the weather. My allergies are extremely bad and I've had a sore throat for about four days now and today it's really sore. In fact, last night it was so sore, I got up out of bed in the middle of the night and had to get a cough drop or something because I felt like my throat was just raw and on fire. And it's still hurting me pretty bad. I'm actually about to make some hot tea or something and try to um, add some honey or something to it. Uh, anyways, I did want to do this video for you guys, and it is a video review of this uh, Alex uh, Ikea dupe that is at Michael's that you can purchase. I purchased this for, I, I know it was like 50 something dollars. It could have been 54 57 I'm not totally, like entirely sure, but I know it was like $50 around there. And uh, that was not including uh, shipping. That's There's no free shipping. Um, I did have to pay for shipping on this as well. So that was kind of a um, kind of a letdown a little bit because I, you know, had to pay for shipping. Usually you don't have to do that. I don't know if they've changed it since then, since I bought this. But last when I bought it, I did have to pay for shipping. And this looks very similar to the... Ikea Alex drawers and I actually did see the Ikea Alex drawers in person last time I was in Ikea and they are literally guys like identical um I mean very very small details that you may notice that are different but they're literally just about the exact same thing So if you don't want to spend uh, the full amount on the IKEA Alex Charge, this is a great alternative. Uh, it's literally like half the price. Um, I will try to leave a link down below. I'm really bad about remembering that, but I promise you guys I will. And this it was only you know fifty dollars and some change or whatever at Michaels. It's a great alternative for those of us who you know don't want to spend all our money on you know a little cabinet thing. Um, it's just a great alternative, but uh, the one thing I do not know about is how it compares to the IKEA drawers in quality. From what I've read, the IKEA drawers uh, are, you know, not like outstanding quality themselves. So I'm guessing that it's identical, or not, you know, not necessarily identical, but close to the same kind of quality. I was actually really kind of disappointed with the quality of these drawers from Michaels so I'm not sure if I went with the IKEA drawers if I had had a better experience but I do like them I do like that they are a dupe I do like the price that it's like literally half the price and I still get the same look what I want um, however that's why I want to make this review to tell you guys the bad points about it and the good points about it so I'm just going to kind of dive right in and I'm going to kind of show you guys it at first and I'm going to tell you the good and bad points. So uh, basically uh, it only comes in one color, it's white and the ones at Ikea that I've seen only come in white as well. Um, they don't have a handle, they do have a like opening here where you can pull the drawer open and closed and I have seen um, I think it was uh, Shani Diva, I think that's how you pronounce her name, and I saw where she had put handles on hers, like little knobs, and it looked super cute. And I was thinking about it, but then I was like, mm, no, I'm just going to leave it. The bad thing about not having a handle like that and just having this opening is that when you're applying your makeup and if your hands are dirty, you literally dirty up your jar every single time. So you get weird makeup spots and weird uh, pencil marks and all kind of weird stuff on your jars. And they are white, so of course you see everything. They get so dirty so easily. Um, there is five drawers, and they kind of slide. I don't know if you guys can see it on this plastic uh, like bar and the bar goes here and that's how they slide in and out. So in mine I've got eyeshadow in one, I've got palettes of eyeshadow in the other. You can see they are quite deep. It does hold quite a lot of stuff in there. Um, this one's got my lip products there. 
This one's just got some miscellaneous items. And this drawer is actually broke. It was actually broke the day that I got this in the mail, which was very disappointing. Uh, what happened is that, as you can see, it literally comes right out. And that's because they sent me a stripped screw. Uh, the screw had no, like, screw part on it. It was just like a bolt with no screw part. So I couldn't screw anything in. And unfortunately, it's like a custom screw like it it's only a certain screw that works with this specific drawer system and so I can't go out and buy it anywhere um yeah <laughs> so that really sucks um and also not only was one of the screws stripped but I was also missing a screw which is why I'm using that wooden piece uh, to kind of act as a screw even though it doesn't hold it in there. So not only was I missing a screw, which I can't go out and purchase anywhere because it's specific to this drawer, and then they sent me one that was stripped. So this whole side is pretty much just screwed. Um, I, I literally just, you know, when I do use it, I have to open it with this one end. I try not to open that drawer very much. That's why I put stuff that I hardly ever use in that drawer. So that was a big fail. Um, the fact that they just didn't even send me the correct uh, parts. And then there was parts missing. It does have wheels, which is awesome because this little cabinet can like roll. Mine's is full of crap, so it's heavy, but it does roll. You can roll it anywhere. You can move it around the room if you want to. Uh, the sides are just plain white. The back of it is a backboard that you have to nail into place. So that's the sides there. And I do have some items up on top of mine as well. So that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, the inside of the drawers is white as well. It's just a really cute little cabinet, and you don't have to add the wheels if you don't want to. You can literally leave that off of there. I chose to put them on there just because, I don't know, in case I do flooring in this room, I'm going to want to roll it around. Um, but yeah, and they don't have a lock on them. Like sometimes these rolly wheels have a little lock so it stays in place. This does not have that. But I'm pretty sure you can go out and buy the little wheels with the lock if it's like really important to you. Because if you were, say you were on a hardwood floor, you would probably want it to not roll around. So that makes sense. Okay, so um, I'm going to dive into the good parts. One, uh, I like the way it looks. I like that I'm getting the same thing that Ikea has, pretty much identical for half the price. So that's awesome. Um, I think these are available in store at Michael's as well, so you can go in the store and purchase them. As far as I know, I have seen and heard of people going into Michael's and buying them. I chose to order mines online, which was probably a mistake. But anyway, um, I just, I like the look. I like the look of it. I like what it is. And if you don't add the wheels at the bottom, you can stack two of these on top of one another and make an even bigger, um, drawer system so that's really nice and it's perfect for a vanity and beauty room area okay diving into the bad things my experience with getting this ship from Michaels was a little bit of a disaster um, I didn't receive it for it was almost three to four weeks I think it was almost a month after I ordered it is when I finally received it um, they didn't even send my product out for like probably a week after I ordered it which was kind of slow and then the shipping itself was really slow I had to wait literally I think it was almost three weeks to get it which is almost unheard of like my ipsy bag doesn't even take that long and it takes a long time um and then when I did call I had to speak to several people who most of them didn't even know where my cabinet was. Uh, most of them didn't even know what was going on with it. So their customer service was lacking quite a lot. So I recommend going into the store and purchasing this. If you're going to purchase it, just go into the store. If they have it and buy it there, just avoid the whole shipping fiasco. And then with it not even being free shipping, that's also a minus in my book. 
Um, the color is nice, however, I feel like they should offer it in more colors. Some people might want a black or something in their beauty room, so it would be nice. Um, also, white does get dirty very easily, but I happen to like white because I like the look of the white in my room. Um, I, I personally can't say that it needs handles or knobs because the actual IKEA drawer doesn't have handles or knobs, so it would... Like, you're kind of ruining the dupe aspect of it if it had that on there. Some people might prefer that, but that kind of, you know, defeats the whole purpose of it being a dupe. Um, lastly, I guess this drawer is just very, very cheaply made. And I didn't believe people when I saw the reviews on the Michaels website about it being cheaply made and they were totally right. Um, in fact, there were other people that said that they were missing parts, missing screws, that they had a hard time dealing with customer service. It's just very cheaply made. I mean, even these drawers, like, even as soon as I got them out of the box, you guys see this, like, marking here where it looks like it's kind of... Um, I don't know, been used like several times and then the paint's starting to wear off. That's how it was when I got out of the box. Like that was already there. Like this here, that was already there. All these like marks, that's not dirt. That was there. That's how it looked when I got it out. It literally was like missing the paint on the edges here. And that's how it looked. And when I received it, it was actually... Um, scratched in one section. I think it might have been in the back somewhere that it was scratched, but it did have a scratch on it. So, yeah, like, here's another spot. Um, this was out of the box. I did not do that. That was there when I opened the box. It looks like the paint and the wood is chipping. So, it's just very cheaply made. Um, it does the job. It does the job of holding my makeup, but it's cheaply made. It, it really is. So if you're looking for a, I guess, better quality version, maybe you need to check out the IKEA version, but if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of quality for a better price and the same look, then this is very, very appropriate. So that's just kind of my quick review of this. Um, I hope you guys found this helpful. I know a lot of you guys had asked previously in my like beauty room tour video and we're talking about these and stuff and I remember I had got a question on Instagram or something about it before when I posted a picture of my vanity and y'all were like let me know you know how you like it let me know um because I know some of you guys out there are building your vanities or building your beauty rooms or getting your beauty room together and you just want to know you know what kind of options you have out there. So this is an option if this is what you're looking for. And um, these are just kind of the good and bad points about it. So it might help you make a decision on whether you want to spend the full amount on the real thing or do you want to buy kind of the knockoff, I like to say. Then um, this is an option for that. But my throat is raw, guys. My throat is raw. And plus I'm waiting on our pizza delivery. So I am going to get off here. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you like the Ikea Alex jars? Do you think they're like overrated? Um, you know, what kind of jars do you have in your beauty room? I always like seeing pictures and hearing about other people's beauty rooms. So just let me know down below. And um, if, the, if this review was helpful to you and you guys enjoyed it, just leave me a thumbs up. And I hope you guys will subscribe for more beauty and style related videos. I will see you guys in my next video, and I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.